Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What margin is required to impeach a president? Impeachment of a president is a serious process outlined in the U.S. Constitution. It involves two main stages, impeachment by the House of Representatives and trial by the Senate. The House of Representatives is responsible for bringing charges against the president. These charges are known as articles of impeachment. For the House to impeach a president, a simple majority vote is needed. This means more than half of the members present must vote in favor. If the House votes to impeach, the process moves to the Senate for a trial. The Senate then acts as the jury, with the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court presiding over the trial. To convict and remove a president from office, the Senate must reach a higher threshold. A two-thirds majority vote is required for conviction. This means at least 67 out of 100 senators must vote to convict. If the Senate does not reach this two-thirds majority, the president remains in office. The framers of the Constitution designed this process to ensure that removing a president is not taken lightly. It requires significant consensus across both legislative bodies. And an impeachment is rare and has only occurred a few times in U.S. history. Understanding the required margins helps clarify the checks and balances in place within the government. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.